Hey guys, thanks for joining me for my six week update. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. Anything helps and is much appreciated. You guys are awesome. Uh, and don't forget to enjoy the holidays. Okay, once again, thanks for joining me. It's the Salty Coral Tank. I'm talking about my six week update for my fish tank on my 65 gallon uh, Reefer 300XL. Things are looking so good in here. Uh, I have some concerns, I have some questions, and I want to hear it in the comments what your opinions are on these questions I'm going to be asking. Uh, but right now I'm going to get to it. I'm going to cover my ugly phase and some uh, stages that have already come and kind of are passing and what I think about my ugly stage currently. Um, so if you guys remember from my first videos, I had a lot of uh, cyanobacteria, algae kind of uh, in this spot. It was very heavy. It was somewhat, it was pretty heavy down here. You can see remnants up there. Uh, and then also this rock back here still has some cyanobacteria pretty badly on it. But for the most part, this is completely clear as is that back corner there. Um, and then this is kind of dissipating here. I'm taking an ultra low maintenance approach, by the way, which means I'm only doing automatic water changes. I'm not lifting a finger. I lost my python in the move, uh, so I don't even know where it is to suck up any of this algae. But I may do that in the future, I may not. Uh, but I don't see any diatoms in here, so I just see the cyanobacteria. The diatoms kind of appear as little tiny, tiny like film algaes with bubbles on the surfaces. The only thing that may be some diatoms is back here, where, which I thought were chrysophytes last week. Um, they may actually be some diatoms as well. Uh, but I thought they were chrysophytes because I got a bunch of algae down here and the chrysophytes love low light. Diatoms do not. So diatoms, if you shut the lights off for a couple of days, your diatoms will completely dissipate and you'll turn the lights back on. And then by, by the end of a 12 hour uh, light cycle, you'll have diatoms again. Um, so uh, I, I think that these may be some, some diatoms now that that's died off down there. But things are looking good. Um, my corals are doing really well. Uh, one thing that I'm kind of concerned about is that I have not seen my cleaner wrasse for two weeks now. I'm thinking he jumped out of the tank, and I'll get to that here in a minute. But I haven't seen any remnants or any residue on the floor or anything like that. My cat probably chomped him up. So who knows with that. Uh, but let me just zoom in on a couple of my problem areas. There was a lot of uh, cyanobacteria there. It's dissipating back there. I had some down here. Um, and then that's pretty much all my problem areas, except for that back corner there. I need to find my, my, uh, my vacuum, my python, so I can vacuum that out. But I don't even know if I'll do that. I'm actually thinking about getting some reef pods, some copepods from like BRS TV uh, or BRS.com. They have a special through Algae Barn. I guess you could get them on Algae Barn as well, but I kind of want the points. Uh, so you can get four 16 ounce jars of copepods for like a hundred bucks. And I was thinking about ordering some to help with this ugly face uh, because really the only problems I have right now are the the cyanobacteria, and then maybe that little little section of diatoms up there. Otherwise, the hair algae looks like it's you know somewhat under control. It's not bonkers right now, um, and I attribute that to my shadow ball down in the sump. Uh, but the corals I got at the frag swap are really doing well. Um, so let me just zoom in on a couple areas. My trachophilia is actually loving this spot, really, really loving it. He's really opening up. I did feed him once like the other day and um, you know he puffed up really well after that so I think he's happy. This guy I glued the other day he was really mucusy you guys saw that in that video um, but he's since cleared up and looks really good. This guy looks really good as well and uh, this apple jacks coral back in the back whatever that is looks really good. My goni's doing well. I did kind of throw some frozen food like down in this area. I did not directly feed him, but he's looking really happy. And my atomic cumulus back in the back is also really like in that spot as well. Um, and then my utter chaos right in the center. Boop. 
right there is doing really well. I think he'll overtake that rock. I made uh, kind of a little island the other day when I put these frags where they wanted or where I wanted them to go. That way these these things don't spread all over the other live rock that I kind of want to keep protected uh, back there. So at this time, things are looking good. There's actually, you probably can see if you look back a couple more videos ago, you can probably see the growth that I have here on my orange digitata. And there's actually a little, I don't know if I can see it from here, a little branch starting in the back there. Um, so he's really liking it. My blue digitata is encrusting all the dead stuff that, that you know, he kind of died when I put him downstairs in that stinking stock tank. It just was not a good uh, area for him at all. But he's loving it. My clam, he is he's getting really big, actually, really rapidly. Um, so he's opening up, so that means he's really happy. And um, I think that that's because my levels are all elevated now. I just checked them not too long ago. And so I'm going to cover all of my levels with you with my six-week update. And then, like I said, I kind of had a question for you all. So I checked my calcium. It was 459. Um, I, I'm happy with that. I'm actually not like, you know, that's not like freaky high. Like if it was approaching 500, I, I'd be concerned. But 459 was okay. My target was 430 in the beginning. But now that I'm dialed in, I may want to keep it around 450. I haven't decided yet. So let me know what you think about that. My alkalinity is 10.4, which is also like not absurd, not out of the, you know, crazy ordinary. Um, but 10.4 and I was shooting for nine in the beginning. So um, I think those are good levels. They're pretty one-to-one, -one, I think. Uh, the 10.4 and then the 459 sounds pretty, pretty good to me. Um, and then uh, now here's my concern. My phosphates are ultra low and ultra low indeed. I just checked them. Um, and um, this is why I think that my... Uh, cleaner rats kind of jumped out of the tank as opposed to like croaking in the tank. Uh, my phosphates, my phosphorus parts per billion was one, um, which is very, very low and actually like too low for me. So that translates to 0 0.003 phosphates. And I want to keep mine a little more elevated than that. I was thinking 0 0.07, which, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm quite a bit off of that. And so, uh, well, 0 0.07 would be the highest I would want mine. Um, I would be okay with 0 0.04. Um, so I've been trying to actually feed more heavily, and it really has not paid off. And I've also been, don't tell anyone, but I've been like leaving my filter socks in a little tiny bit longer than, than every three days or so. Um, and it still doesn't seem to push my levels up. And I think that's because all of the ugly phase algae that has kind of come and gone and is still like in the tank is just out competing the corals and everything else for any nutrients that are accumulating in my tank at this current time. I'm not running my skimmer. The only skimmer I have is my clam. He's 100% natural skimmer. Um, and he might be doing a very good job. He is a big clam um, for this 65 gallon tank. So I don't know if you guys think that he may be taking care of my, my nutrient quote unquote problem or my nutrients before anything else can, or if you think the, the algae in the ugly phase, what little algae I have left is actually taking care of all of that. Should I remove my shadow ball? What do you guys think? Uh, you can leave that in a comment and I would really much appreciate it. Um, so again, I'm doing ultra low maintenance. I'm doing, maybe I can back off on my water changes. I'm doing about a 45% water change per month. And that's happening automatically every other day. It's changing 2.4 gallons. So according to um, my math, with my sump volume, my tank's about 80 gallons. And uh, 2.4 gallons every other day times 15 or whatever in, in a 30 day you know month uh, translates to about a 45 or so percent water change. So I think that I covered all my concerns and uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, I greatly appreciate it. But I mean, as far as I am concerned, things are really looking good in here and I'm really happy. My clam's happy. He was, he was my main concern. I didn't want to lose him. He's basically my favorite guy in the tank. 
um, aside from this trachophilia. So since everything's looking so good, just let me know what y'all think about my phosphates. If I need to bump them up or maybe supplement phosphates, um, I'd greatly appreciate the help. And thank you guys again. Uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, y'all have a good holiday. And uh, thanks for tuning in to the Salty Coral Tank.